Okay, so again, if we go back to the question, bullet point one is saying what the writers say about it, and number two is how they say it. So let's look at a number one example PE. So we're gonna look at the one, just the first bullet point, which is what Blondin and Nick Wallander did during the Crossings Niagara Falls. So I'm gonna do one PE just on what they did. Both writers showboated. So my point is that both writers said that the people showboated, that both of them, when they were on the tightrope, performed a little bit when they are on the rope. So that's what I've said to you. I said both have said that. I've put blank says Blondin got to the center of rope and sat down on it. Then I've put likewise, Burnett says Wallander knelt down and waved at the spectators. Remember, this bullet point is just about what they did. I'm not going to really examine the quote. So I've just basically said, made a point and written both quotes to back it up. So here it is, it is always one. So both writers, I put here, so both writers. So remember, I'm talking about both extracts. Then I put the extract one quote that he sat down on it. Then I've put extract two quote, yeah, to prove it. And I've put likewise over. So basically put both writers showboated and I've given like a quote from each to prove that he did showboat. Okay, so let's look at the second member on this said, remember what I said was, if you are struggling at the time, just do it like this, okay? So just worry about the first bullet point, what they did. If you haven't got time, just do five or six of these as opposed to doing the second bullet point, okay? So, but we look at a second point, PE, how the writers conveyed the danger. So this one's a bit more looking at writer's technique. So how the writers tried to show the dangers. So I've put, both writers used emotive adjectives to describe the dangers the men faced. That's the point that they used adjectives to describe the dangers. I put, bank uses the word fragile where the adjective suggests the rope is weak and could break at any moment. So I've zoomed in on the word fragile and looked at the connotations that it's weak, it might give at any moment. Then I put likewise, again, I'm using that word to show if it's the same or a different amount. So, so likewise, Burnett describes the water as churning, and then I've zoomed into the word churning. This suggests the falls are violent and powerful. So they both show the dangers by using their choice of adjectives. And there you go. Again, both writers, extract one quote and explanation, extract two quote and explanation, and I've used my likewise, however, to show if it's the same or the difference. So remember, key info for question 6M, you need to compare the texts. PE sentences, try and use comparing words, 10 marks for 13 to 15 minutes. If you want to look at the exam paper, go to this website and um, yeah, download it. I'm sure you can find it on Google as well if you type in November 2018 paper. Okay, and good luck with your exams. Hopefully this has been some help to you. Um, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Okay, the last question on paper two. This is tightrope walking over Niagara Falls. This is the second question where you're looking at both texts, but the first question, the first and only question in the exam where you're comparing and contrasting the extracts. Key info for question six. You need to compare the text, maybe say what's the same and what's the difference. P sentences, uh, use comparing words or adverbials like however, in contrast, likewise, in comparison, things like that. 10 marks available, so 13, 15 minutes. On average, students do the worst. This is the worst one they do on, on the reading exam. Mainly, not because it's a particularly hard question, but mainly because um, it's just the last question and people run out of time. So you need to give yourself at least 13 minutes to do this question. So the question will look like this. Both the texts are about tight road walkers across Niagara Falls. Compare what Blondin and Wallander did on the crossings of Niagara Falls, and then how the writers convey or show the dangers of crossing Niagara Falls. It's a 10 mark question. So basically the first bullet point means what the writers say about the crossings, and the second point, the how one's saying, how they say it. So do they use adjectives, the structure, punctuation, things like that. If you're struggling for time, just do the first bullet point. Yep, so I would say if you literally you get to this question in the exam, you've only got five minutes instead of maybe your 13 to 15 minutes, what I would do is I would just answer this question. Maybe find five or six quotes saying what they both said about the crossings and don't really talk about the writer, the writer's technique. If you obviously, if we have the time, do it. But I would say it's better than to do as many quotes as you can on the first bullet point than maybe just do one bullet point on each and um, one one PE on both. So if you're really struggling for time, then do that, okay? Just find two or three quotes from each and say if they are the same or the difference. Obviously, if you've got the whole time, we want you to do both bullet points, but you could get probably get at least four or five marks out of 10 just by doing the first bullet point. Be clear which text you're talking about. So easy way of doing this would be um, use the writer's names. If you're not clear 
and you're not, it's not obvious to the examiner who's marking it which text you're talking about, you're going to get a 0 out of 10. Okay, So you must be clear and use the writer's names. Uh, you've already read both of these texts in the exam by the time you get to question 6, so you're going to be famil familiar with them. So hopefully it's skimming it as opposed to reading the whole thing again. And don't worry if you feel like you might be repeating points you've already written in past questions. So this question um, is about what they did on the Niagara Falls. If you've already, in question 2 for example, um, analysed a quote about what they did, don't worry about it, you can write it in this. Write it again, make your similar point in this answer as long as it's relevant. Okay, so what's the same, what's the differences, how can we make sure to the examiner we make it clear? So, for example, we're going to try and use these words. Same, likewise, similarly, also two as well as, different, but, however, whereas, on the other hand. I would say, don't worry about... Um, using loads of different ones. I would say almost make your mind up before you go into the exam. What word are you going to use for same? What word are you going to use for different? So for example, I would use likewise if I'm going to say something's got something in common. And I'd say however, if I was talking about them, maybe talking about um, a difference. So not a big deal, but certainly don't waste time trying to use different things to make you sound, sound clever. Just use one from each and make it nice and clear. How many points do you need to use? I would say you're trying to use five or six quotes, as many as you can. Again, don't worry about thinking to yourself, I must use five quotes, I must use five quotes. Just try and use as many quotes as you can in your time, say 13 to 15 minutes. Okay, so for this question, like I'll do any other question, uh, look at the question and try to highlight what the question's asking you. So in this case, it's asking what they did during the crossings. So I would look at both texts and highlight five or six quotes. Remember, not huge quotes, not two sentences, one or two phrases, one or two word phrases. Highlight what they did during the crossings. This is how I would structure my PEs. I put both writers, okay, so or both writers agree or both writers disagree. Then I would say what Banks says, likewise or rather, because I'm comparing, and then Burnett says. Okay, so again, if we go back to the question, bullet point one is saying what the writers say about it, and number two is how they say it. So let's look at a number one example PE. So we're going to look at the one, just the first bullet point, which is what Blondin and Nick Wallander did during the crossings of Niagara Falls. So I'm going to do one PE just on what they did. Both writers showboated. So my point is that both writers said that the people showboated, that both of them, when they were on the tightrope, performed a little bit when they are on the rope. So that's what I've said to you. I've said both have said that. I've put, blank says Blondin got to the centre of rope and sat down on it. Then I've put, likewise, Burnett says Wallander knelt down and waved at the spectators. Remember, this bullet point is just about what they did. I'm not going to really examine the quote. So I've just basically said, made a point and written both quotes to back it up. So here it is, it's always one. So both writers, I've put here, so both writers. So remember, I'm talking about both extracts. Then I've put the extract one quote that he sat down on it. Then I've put extract two quote. Yeah, to prove it, and I put likewise over. So basically put, both writers showboated, and I give them like a quote from each to prove that he did showboat. Okay, so let's look at the second, remember on this said, remember what I said was, if you are struggling with the time, just do it like this, okay? So just worry about the first bullet point, what they did. If you haven't got time, just do five or six of these as opposed to doing the second bullet point, okay? So, but we look at a second point, PE, how the writers conveyed the danger. So this one's a bit more looking at writer's technique. So how the writers try to show the dangers. So I've put, both writers used emotive adjectives to describe the dangers the men faced. That's the point, that they used adjectives to describe the dangers. I've put, bank uses the word fragile, where the adjective suggests the rope is weak and could break at any moment. So I've zoomed in on the word fragile and looked at the connotations that it's weak, it might give at any moment. Then I've put, likewise, again, I'm using that word to show if it's the same or different in my answer. So likewise, Burn it describes the water as churning, and then I've zoomed into the word churning. This suggests the falls are violent and powerful. So they both showed the dangers by using their choice of adjectives. And there you go. Again, both writers, extract one quote and explanation, extract two quote and explanation, and I've used my likewise, however, to show if it's the same or the difference. So remember, key info for question 6M, you need to compare the texts. P sentences, try and use comparing words, 10 marks for 13 to 15 minutes. If you want to look at the exam paper, go to this website and um, yeah, download it. I'm sure you can find it on Google as well if you type in November 2018 paper. Okay, and good luck with your exams. Hopefully this has been some help to you. Um, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section.